children should be following a more academic route who are uh, capable of doing that and children who, should, who are not and are more vocationally or orientated should be following a more technical route. I think we need to take a very good look at the curriculum for children. That sounds like 14. sitting on the fence, uh, Dr. Curran. Well, um, I think it needs to be looked at very uh, uh, carefully. So, and what does that mean, looked at very carefully? <laughs> well, it does mean that that children need to be uh, educated in the in the way that's uh, appropriate for them. I mean, for instance, if we take uh, Germany, they have gymnasia. If we look at France, they have lycées. And the gymnasia and elysia, uh, lycées uh, take a more academic route, whereas children uh, who are more vocationally orientated, orientated are following that particular route. But you're... No, I'm not saying it should be scrapped. I'm saying that uh, every child up to uh, 18 or, or 16, wherever we make the cut-off, should receive... Uh, good basic education in English and maths. However, in some subject areas, it is more appropriate for children to follow a more vocational route, particularly if uh, they're not very academic. Well, I think careers advice has always been offered independently in schools. I mean, there are, there, I mean, I remember when I was at school, I, an independent uh, careers officer came into the school. Uh, so I don't think schools necessarily have to offer, offer careers advice. That could be offered independently, yes. It sounds because we have had a huge number of problems in this country by forcing many children down an academic route that they're not actually suitable for. And I think it's important that children have a more uh, appropriate education, whatever whatever their particular um, strengths are, we should play to those strengths. But when you know, the, the government has talked about a baccalaureate of five GCSEs. Uh, I think that's important for children to work for their GCSEs in terms of English and maths. However, children between 14, uh, after 14, we do know whether a child is uh, you know, going down a more academic route or a more, vo vo more vocational route. And I do think that what they're doing in Germany, what they're doing in France and many other European countries actually works better than what we're doing at the moment. Dr. Karen, thank you. Thank you.